Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Joppy Noodle Legs here today. Today I've got another noodle film review and we're looking at um, Larry Cohen's The Stuff. First of all, let's have a look at this edition. Um, this is an Arrow edition. It's not a um, collector's one or a first print one. It's just a standard one. So it just comes with the disc and a reversible cover got like the original poster um so now we'll crack on with a little um little synopsis of the film for you um and the film starts off in in um the snow So there we go, Some these old boys discover this stuff coming up from the ground that supposedly tastes like ice cream. Um, so they decide to sort of like, well, hey, we've got, we're on to a thing here, we could, we could market this and sell it. And then it sort of cuts, I suppose it's a little bit down the line, I don't know how far, but it doesn't tell you. And it's like, we cut to like a, a family home and there's a young lad there with his it goes to the fridge at night because he's hungry and he sees that the, the stuff in the fridge and it's moving see what what's the matter with you anyway it was a woman you listen to me young man you get your butt back upstairs to bed you understand don't ever pull this on me again now move Okay, so the boy gets sort of um, told off by his dad going down to their middle of the night and he tries to tell his dad, yeah, but I've seen it moving down, I've seen it moving. But anyway, so then it, it's really weird. This this film sort of cuts a little bit all over the place at the beginning. It takes a little while to fall into place. And then um, it cuts to like a, a yacht. Um, like, and it's owned by like, I think like a... Um, other companies like ice cream companies and yogurt companies and they want because nobody knows the ingredients or anything that this stuff is because apparently it's like it's taken over everything everybody wants it and likes it and eats it and um so they try to employ and find a sort of like investigator to sort of go and spy on the company that are producing the stuff yeah, I miss out on Edge Cam, DeLorean, all of it. Man. Yeah, well, just follow me, hot shot. See if you're worth your money. Whoa, oh, this is some place you got here, fella. Mm. This is uh, how much luck ain't gonna. That's a sweaty palm. That's oh. a sweaty palm. You made me feel you. Ah, uh, that's another sweaty palm. Yes, sir, have a little sweaty palm. How you do? So tell me about the stuff. And then we cut back once again to the family that we saw with the young lad. And here we sort of like, the whole family really enjoying it, uh, the stuff apart from the young lad. The young lad suspects there's something up with it. And the mum really is trying to get him to eat it. Here, you taste it and tell me if you can taste what. I don't want to. No. It moves around all by itself. It moves. I saw it moving right through your ear. Alright, so after that, he, um, we then cut back to the sort of uh, investigating guy, um, who's, uh, who, who's, who's gone to meet the uh, woman who does all the advertising campaigns to get some sort of information, see if she knows anything about the, um, where it all comes from and where the uh, head office is and who sort of like who runs the company. Sherry Netherland? Is there a groom service at the Sherry Netherland? <laughs> I'm my limousine, sister. Right. So is mine. I bet mine's bigger than yours. <laughs> Yeah. 
and she tells him about um, one of the guys who's a part of the committee that sort of authorised the stuff to go onto the market. So he heads out to his house to meet him. A part of the team that tested and approved a product called the stuff. Oh, they didn't have a name for it then, but they chewed merchandise the hell out of it. But we all agree it's a good product. How long was it tested before you proved it? You've got to understand that this is a dessert, not a prescription medicine. Not any different from yogurt or ice cream. Hey, what's in the stuff? I mean, what's it made out of? How's it made? Anyway, so he goes to meet this guy, and uh, the meeting turns out quite uh, eventful for him because he happens to um, to uh, persuade the guy to give him some sort of paperwork about um, sort of like the uh, the company because they're trying to find out what's in it, you know, and is it safe and stuff like this because it's got really addiction from people just buying it and buying it and buying it, and and so um, he he's gives get some good information but the owner of the uh the company he owns a a a, a, a doberman dog Now, now he's got the information. He leaves, and the uh, Doberman dog then goes a bit crazy, and his his mouth opens really wide, and the stuff sort of coming out of his mouth, and um, he attacks and kills that guy that's just given the paperwork off. It's like it's almost like that the stuff is like um, controlling everything, saying you know, and they can't tell. Because he was told a lot of information to this guy, the dog killed him, and it's like that sort of thing. So, it's like the uh, the stuff is controlling the people that is sort of like um, that's having it. Uh, so that's quite cool, quite like that. So then the film sort of cuts to uh, the the investigator. He's gone to um, uh, the, the small sort of town where apparently where this business all sort of started. And then he meets this guy in the garage who's a bit strange and he tells him, yeah, all these people have moved away or they've sort of like left the company or things like that. And um, so he carries on and he, he another strange car arrives in this small town and he goes up to it. And this is where we meet a uh, chocolate chip Charlie. So that's Chocolate Chip Charlie, and he's quite funny in the film. Um, and he's also doing the same, because I think he was one of the guys that helped start this business with the stuff, and he's been sort of pushed out of it, and he's trying to investigate stuff, what's happening in there. So they sort of team up together and sort of like work together to try and get information what's happening. Anyway, they all saw that the garage guy run away, and then they head to this post office, uh, and they meet another strange dude who works in there, and he sort of also runs away into a room. And then um, it's like, again, this guy's been eating the stuff. And then uh, it's, it's kind of like this stuff takes over and it doesn't want anybody to find out where it's from or what it's about or anything. So um, he goes into this different room. So they need to try and get in to get to the guy. And then this is where we see the first appearance of the stuff. Okay, so they've 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 discovered this, um, and in um 
the, the then they go with with the woman who who now um is is sort of believing what what's going on you did the woman that was doing the uh, advertising she's now on the side of the investigator your power companies hired me to discredit consumer groups i just did a good job but if you've got proof then you've got to go to somebody and i have no proof at all and that's why i gotta go to the, to the factory with you tonight to get proof yeah. 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 You see this oh, uh, doc this is nicole good to meet you some kid on Long Island sure as hell doesn't like the stuff for breakfast. Went to Bonkers in the local supermarket. Okay, now this is where the story starts to kick off because we now head back to the, the family, uh, the main sort of family, which is, um, I think it's supposed to predict picture of what all the families are like in, the, in, 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 the, in America now because of this stuff. And it's all, all the family members are being sort of brainwashed because they've had so much of this that they just... Um, and it's overtaken them, and it's sort of like they're controlling their thoughts, and everything's evolved around the stuff. And they're saying, "Oh yeah, you've got to read this. It's amazing." The woman's going, "I've lost so much. I've lost like um, five pounds in a week eat, just eating this." And and they're saying how they're like almost talking like it's a like an advert. Anyway, the young lad's had enough, so he starts to walk out um, of 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 the house. First, Jason. They kill the bad things inside us. You're just a baby. Always afraid of everything. Get him. Uh, so eventually it goes around and around and around and he then escapes the house and runs away and he finds uh then we cut to like the factory and it's like these massive sort of like big sort of like storage um things are full of the stuff and the the investigator and the woman are now in the factory doing like a little tour and the young lad turns up at the factory and he sort of sneaks into one of the uh big sort of tankers that sort of carries the stuff around And as this is going on, we then cut to the uh, detective and the woman sort of like speaking to sort of like the employees and that of the factory. And that's all the synopsis I'm going to tell you because I want you to find out what happens to yourself um because the story takes many sort of turns uh and so it's i want you to find out for yourself now what do i think of the film it was awesome it's a really really good film it's it's just fantastic it just um creates a whole picture of american consumerism and the way that they're easily led on by um a product that's new and sort of you know taste good and they've they've opened like a there's like the stuff sort of fast food restaurants and you'll you'll get um clips in there of supermarkets where there's a stuff like and people just got everybody's got it in their basket and buying it with normal food and stuff uh and then you've got the young lad that's um that knows there's something up you can see him. there's one scene in the supermarket where he goes through and he just knocks everything off the shelf trying to destroy it all and all this sort of stuff so um he because he knows there's something up um it's just it is it's, it's it's a horror film in the sense of like it sort of really plays upon consumerism and people's greed and how easily they can be brainwashed and this stuff is like it's it's like a alive and it's like um and it's like it's controlling them saying that they want more i suppose like like other addictions like alcohol and things like this where, where there's something the chemicals in there that make you want more and it sort of hits on that and i really like that so it's really really cool really good film so what are the pluses of this the transfer is amazing really really cool it looks really really nice um 
The story's excellent. I've not really seen anything like it. I suppose the closest film I can compare this to would be Halloween 3, um, Season of the Witch. Because that's almost the same. That's also about consumerism. And it's about um, these masks that control people's minds. This is the same sort of thing, but there's stuff doing that. So it's kind of similar to that. Um, the characters are really cool. It moved around all over the place, but it was really good. And it, uh, and it sort of all falls in together, and I like that. Uh, it's really well acted. There's a couple of um, really sort of um, weird acting moments. Uh, but I like some of the characters. I really like Chocolate Chip Charlie. He's really cool. And there's some good effects in this, some really cool effects. Um, gore, there's not a lot of gore. There is some quite a sort of ugh, moments. Um, because, like, if they're killed, it's like their blood is almost like this sort of thing. Um, so there is some sort of stuff like that and some sort of head crushing and stuff like that. But it's it's really cool, really, really good. Negatives of the film, I, su I suppose the way that the story was sort of like moved around um, from place to place, it can get a little bit choppy and a bit confusing. And um, with this, um, when I, my, my, my real negativity is the special features. It's got one documentary on there, which is about 45 minutes long. And then it's got like some trailers and that's it. And there's, you know, I mean, and Arrow tend to put quite a lot of um, things into their products. And this one lacks that, which is a real, real shame. So that's a negative to that. So we'll drop a point for that, unfortunately, um, because I like them to have a lot of special features. Um, just because I like to delve into the movie and find some stuff behind it and and you know all these sort of things I, I enjoy that part of the movie because a movie to me is a an event it's not just watching this movie it's an event it's finding out about what went into making it why they made it you know and any problems that they got into by making the film or creation you know creation problems and financial problems trying to make it i like to hear all that sort of stuff the story behind the actual piece of art form because all films are art forms they're pieces of art it's someone's work creation so i like all that so when it lacks that it loses a little point for me but there we go um i'm going to score this down as a um great watch and give it 8 out of 10. Now, it would have got a 9 out of 10 if it had more special features in there. That's the only... So if you... That's why it's lost a point. Obviously, it would have been, it would have been a 9 out of 10 film. Because the film itself is great. It's awesome. Um, yeah, and it didn't get 10 out of 10. Because obviously, it was a bit choppy. And it was a bit sort of like, you know... Not say slow moving. You know, because it, it's not... It's not a... It's not a typical horror film in the sense of like with like a stalker or a monster. This has got a monster, which is the stuff, but it hasn't got like that sort of um, that horror feel to it. It's it's a build up of horror. And, and it's like, um, you know, like um, Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. It's like that where you've got like an investigating about these masks. They're doing that a bit of stuff. So it's quite similar based on that sort of thing. So it's that kind of horror film, which I love. I personally love. I think there's not enough horror films like that out there. Um, but this is a really great film. Eight out of ten. So that's the stuff. Um, have you guys seen it? What do you think of it? Write down below. Tell me what you think about it. Um, if you if you, if you, you really enjoyed it, it would be really cool. And I would love you to try and... I'm not just putting these reviews up, guys, for something for me to do. I'm trying to introduce you to films that um, you might not have seen or you've seen and go back and revisit because, you you know, opinions change over time. Uh, so you might have seen it years ago, but no, nah, it's a bit too, not for me. But go and watch it now and, and see what you think. So I, I, I'm hoping that you watch my videos and get something out of it and actually go and watch some of these movies that I'm talking about. Go and watch it. It's a good film. Um I'm not sure how long it's going to be available for um, because a lot of places don't seem to to sell it. Um, so because Arrow tend to release their movies for a short period and then they stop printing them. Um, and then later on in a few years down the line, they tend to get maybe get a re-release. But um, 
I'll always try and grab them if you can, but while they're still around. And this one is definitely worth picking up. Eight out of ten. Uh, please go and check out some other channels, guys, before the next uh, video. There's Horror, Horror Hands. Fantastic channel. The guy's a lovely guy. He absolutely loves his horror. He he he's sort of like he's got such a massive collection, like myself, but his is more a bit more diverse than me because he likes a bit of um things that I'm not really into, like Mondo sort of uh, um documentaries, which are sort of like real life things, and I'm not really into that. But he loves all that. So, but but he loves the horror and he loves all the stuff that I love. He's an amazing channel, amazing guy. Go and check his channel out, please. Russell's RS Designs. Go and check Russell out. He said he's going to be doing some horror videos, so uh, we'll wait in anticipation for that. So that's RS Designs. Check him out. Horror Geek, really cool channel. Really, really good. Really funny. Um, he does a lot of sort of like uh, comedy sort of reviews of films, which is cool. Man V Film, great, another great channel. He tends to do a bit more honest reviews. And sort of like straight to the point reviews. He loves his Giallo films and his um, his film noir and stuff like that. So he does a varied um, of films. But he does have horror in there, which is cool. Horror and Todge not put videos up lately, but he does have quite a few sort of pick up videos. It's worth watching. Um, it's it's really really cool. Sarah of Horror again, cool check her out. And Pizza Well, check his channel out. His channel is amazing. It's really funny. When him and Jeremy are together, it's a fantastic channel. Anyway, guys, until next time, you look after yourselves, keep watching horror, look after one another, and I really hope I'll see you all soon. Oh, and a shout out to my son, Lemon Lord. Hope you're doing well, buddy.